an international partnership between the San Diego District Attorney's Office and the Attorney General in Baja, California, in Mexico, to help victims of human trafficking and domestic violence. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal is joining us live from the Hall of Justice with a closer look at today's big announcement here, Kelly. That's right, and they're calling this international partnership historic because this is the first time uh, that a justice center like One Safe Place uh, is partnering with a similar justice center down in Tijuana uh, to help victims like this. Now, the DA uh, said today uh, she estimates there are approximately 60,000 uh, victims of human trafficking, of uh, domestic violence, who live and work on both sides of the border. Criminals who prey on victims for human trafficking exploitation, child abuse, child pornography, domestic violence. They don't know any borders. Thousands of people cross the border every day between Tijuana and San Diego, both ways in order to go to work and to go to school. And there are victims among them. And so the top prosecutors from both sides of the border signed an agreement today uh, to work together, to share resources, to share information about victims. So essentially, uh, one state safe place that is and the center in Tijuana will be sister resource centers. They'll cross refer victims and provide help to them uh, regardless of whether they live in San Diego or in Mexico. Now, one safe place, uh, which is located in San Marcos, we've done stories on it before. It's kind of a one stop shop for victims with all different resources under one roof. Uh, legal services, support services for people who have been uh, traumatized by child abuse, sex assault, uh, elder abuse. DA Stefan gave an example of why this partnership is needed. She said, you know, a woman who lives in Tijuana, works in San Diego, and seeks out resources in San Diego might need help getting her children out of Tijuana and away from an abuser. As she pointed out, sometimes the cartels use women and children to carry out their crimes. Today, we also heard from Alicia uh, Kerber-Palma, the Consul General of Mexico in San Diego. You victimize a woman, a kid, or a boy, you are going to be persecuted. We are not going to stop until this type of situation ends. And so this partnership is already in effect. They are already helping uh, victims, and they're actually going to be expanding uh, in the South Bay. They're going to be opening a one safe place in the South Bay uh, sometime next year. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.